Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to talk to you about a program called Weekly Horoscope from 14th October to the 20th of October 2018 and this is for you coming from Virgo. Let's start with Sunday the 14th of October and it's going to be a brilliant, wonderful morning and afternoon period for you. It's going to produce plenty of opportunities. It may be a holiday Sunday, but I would advise you to make use of it. Improve your job areas, meet people who can help you there. Improve your business areas, go out with the business people. And if you're looking for the romance to chase, chase for it in the morning afternoon. And if you're looking to make your marriage happy, do that because you will have the perfect bonding time in the morning and afternoon period of Sunday the 14th. So I like the morning afternoon very much. I see business planets there as well and your communication assets and your leading qualities will all put you in on a very good streak towards making a successful morning and afternoon period. Evening and nightfall also very good. Well, morning and afternoon was fast, quick planets. Evening and nightfall are slow and steady planets. And slow and steady planets will try to give you something of a long-term nature to be coming to your favor. So evening and nightfall period, go out looking good. You're going to meet somebody, whether long-term help comes in the way of job or business or the new romance or improving your marriage areas. It's all very possible. It's all very possible in this evening nightfall period which becomes a wonderful time for long-term bonding and your past efforts or your past help of people is also going to be rewarded in the evening nightfall period monday the 15th starts in a very poor way for you and at your place of work or in business there's going to be a lot of difficulties coming your way so be prepared for trouble of every type Perhaps it's with your mates who work with you or with your bosses at your place of work or with your business partnerships or with the people you do business with. There is trouble lurking in the morning afternoon period and if you are ready for it, you will be able to find it quick enough and cure it. Don't want to take the lead, don't want to take charge of anything because whatever you try to do won't go very well in the morning afternoon. So focus on what you really have to do and concentrate on getting that done don't want to try too many things. Evening, nightfall, very aggressive planets are there. And they obviously make you very aggressive, very over daring, wanting to be over determined to get what you want. Be careful. There can be trouble waiting for you in the evening, nightfall period. Because the earlier morning, afternoon, troublesome planets will also make their way in the evening, nightfall period. And they could cause accidents, they could cause conflict, they could cause confrontation. So don't try and provoke anybody. It's better for you perhaps to go back home to the safety of your own home. But if you have to be out, then tell yourself minimize risk by not being over daring in what you say or what you do. And drive carefully as accidents can also happen. Tuesday the 16th morning afternoon is really, really bad. Now it brings difficulties in even getting good news about a job. And your existing job may give you some very bad news about your insecurity there. And so tell yourself in your job area, I've got to focus on what's important and show my superiors that I'm trying my best to do the best for the place I work for. You need to do that. Otherwise, you're going to be deemed as somebody who is not interested in your job and bad news may come. Accidents are very possible throughout the whole day, even the nightfall period. So you've got to drive very carefully. Don't be arrogant in the morning afternoon because there's one planet that makes you very arrogant in the morning afternoon. And that arrogance may actually just separate you from any help coming from the people you work with. And even in the area of business, tell yourself you can be cheated, you can be let down, you can be deceived. So you've got to be very careful in your business areas in the morning afternoon to see that somehow somebody is trying to get the upper hand on you. So look into all your contracts, into your, all your promises and be careful of the promises you make yourself. Stay away from the sea. So, so many difficulties are seen in the morning afternoon period. Evening nightfall period, also not good. Now the planets of arrogance are there. And so the morning afternoon periods, uh, planets of deception and deceit will move to the evening nightfall as well. 
and you'll be disappointed or played out or cheated in some way or another, whether emotional, whether financial, whether in friendship, whether in any area. So tell yourself, if you're going out in the evening, I have to be very choosy of the company I keep because the company you keep for the whole day is going to also smear your reputation badly. So watch out. Wednesday the 17th. Now, that's a very good morning and afternoon period for you. Long-term planets are there. So long-term planets are going to bring plenty of opportunities for you in a long-term way. So they travel slow. So be patient as hour by hour, morning and afternoon things develop for your favor, whether in job, whether in business, whether in the love affair you're chasing for, whether in your marriage areas, anywhere. So tell yourself, be patient and something good is happening for you in the morning, afternoon period. Focus on what is really very important to get it done. Because planets are slow. And when they are slow, your deadlines can suddenly pounce on you. Evening, nightfall, too many emotional planets are there. Well, it's an emotional time anyway. It's a time for sociability, enjoying yourself, dancing, singing. But these emotional planets are not very stable. So they make you somehow have restlessness and a tendency to be not happy, perhaps a bit depressed, depression as well. So evening and nightfall, be very fussy with the people you are. Don't want to just join any group. These are planets that make you very changeable, very oversensitive, very moody as well. So these problems can be interfering with enjoyment. Just be choosy of the company you keep and things should be better. Now we go to Thursday the 18th and now we see many planets there that make you act in a very exposing yourself to risk way. And these planets are of obviously very over-determined to get you what you want, but they can also land you into trouble as the way you want it. You cannot afford to be aggressive or use words which are aggressive or a tone of voice which is aggressive because you may just get back a lot of problems. So take the soft approach with these planets of the morning and afternoon which are very aggressive and sometimes violent planets can cause accidents as well. So keep all this under control by taking the soft approach in everything that you do. Simply means use words which are soft, tone of voice which is soft, the body language which is soft. That's going to help you a great, great deal. Evening and nightfall period is going to be much, much better. Now you will have the meetings with people which can give you good results. Now you can have the meetings with people who are pretty heavy weights in business. So something good is waiting to happen in the evening nightfall period. Some of these aggressive planets of the morning afternoon may go down in the evening nightfall period and tend to make you over determined or over aggressive to get what you want. Don't. Because the evening planets are already dominating by themselves. They make you a, 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 a very dominating in terms of your approach to things. So you don't want the fiery hot tempered planets there as well. So take the soft approach during the whole day, 24 hours, and evening nightfall is going to give you some good dividends. Friday the 19th, morning and afternoon, not good for you. It says you're isolating yourself, you're being very arrogant, you want the limelight, you want control. So try not to do that because you may not get the support you want from the people you work with or people you do business with. And even if you're having lunch with whoever, try not to be too arrogant in the sense of demanding things. Try to take the soft approach as well. These planets of arrogance do tend to make you overbearing in nature. And so you're quick to criticize and you're quick to look down on people. Evening nightfall improves a lot. Yes, the planet of unexpected goodness is there in the evening nightfall. So you're going to be lucky getting something unexpectedly good, whether in romance, whether with your marriage, family people, whether with your work people, whether with the job or business people. Something very good is happening unexpectedly. And you might even get the romance most unexpectedly you've been waiting for. So look good, dress well, and get ready for a very exciting evening nightfall period. This planet of arrogance, one of them will be there in the evening nightfall too. 
So try your best not to show any arrogance. Saturday the 20th. Now these are water planets who take over the control of the morning afternoon. And these planets tend to make you very moody and changeable. So that's not good because you being changeable means that others are going to be unhappy with the plans you change suddenly and unexpectedly in a moody way. Control yourself. Tell yourself the rule for the morning afternoon is that what we start we must finish. That way others will be happy that you are staying the ground what has been agreed upon. These planets will also make you in the morning afternoon is very oversensitive to anything. And they may make you restless and they may make you even argumentative. So try to reduce all that. Otherwise your morning afternoon where it's a holiday, it's a Saturday, you may upset many people. Evening nightfall becomes excellent. Excellent. Some of these evening excellent planners try to go in the morning afternoon to give you a sense of direction. And they do that off and on. But these planets who make you moody are too strong. But evening nightfall is a time for success. Whether chasing the romance, whether out with your business people, whether out with your bosses or the work people, some reward is going to be coming for you in the evening nightfall period. So definitely you want to be out with the people who matter, not just to have fun, but the people who matter. And if it's the business you're looking for, look for the business community you want to meet, the people you want to say hello to in the evening nightfall period. And you're bound to get some kind of reward in the evening nightfall period for any area of your life. Well, that's the uh, week for you. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50.50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And during this 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years. This will be based on your date of birth, your time of birth and looking at your palms. And based on that, I'll be able to tackle your next seven, eight, nine years, age by age, calendar year by calendar year, all areas of your life. And so I'll give you plenty of information your lucky lottery numbers on a personal basis based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. Your lucky colors, your lucky days, your lucky directions, your lucky gemstones, a lot of other information. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email and let's make the contact to have this 90 minutes section which will cost you USD 50. Until then, thank you and good luck.